Hi, I'm Pagata12 and today we play with uh, recursive displays once again as I just got it the other days like I always wanted more details, better surface, uh, smoother motion and uh, also those muddy waves uh, doesn't stop. And so you can you can actually VJ live with this. I will show you how to build this from scratch. It's very easy. This can be uh, actually the, the most advanced uh, tutorial for beginners when playing with uh, feedback. So let's start with the uh, uh, noise. And if in the previous uh, tutorial with uh, uh, recursive displays, we went with uh, uh, monochrome, uh, today we go with uh, RGB noise. Okay, so this is RGBA not monochrome and um, I go uh, 9020 by 1080 and uh, if you don't have a commercial license uh, you are good with uh, 1280 by 720 and uh, let's scale this to 0 2 okay now let's build uh, the feedback we use a null here, a feedback and uh, yeah, over and we drag this over, okay, nothing happened let's uh, have a keyboard in so okay, we pause and I also reset this okay and let's have uh, the final uh, output here so we name this uh, final and uh, yeah if I click the uh, blue flag uh, display background top off because I want to have this uh, here and I will also split again uh, top and bottom and uh, here I will have the network and here let me go with the top viewer okay now we good and yeah let's uh, displace uh, something here so we have uh, this place top and uh, let's set the midpoint to zero okay and uh, I would like to this place uh, for the moment with uh, an RG constant so this is uh, RG to RG and the value is zero. Okay, I will connect the the feedback um, and set resolution only to have also uh, this texture uh, like uh, all the others. And now, if I if I displace with this, nothing happened. Okay. What else we can uh, uh, put here? Let's go with a, a level. Okay. And uh, yeah, I go with uh, unclamp. Okay. And opacity is uh, it's, uh, 0 0.99. Okay. Now I would like to make this uh, noise moving, so I go here A B S time dot frame divide by seven six eight. Yeah, let's go with this. So now I would like to uh, select the constant, collapse selected, and have this uh, uh, base. I name it. Uh, uh, vectors okay and so let's go inside and uh, build um, 
the vectors for the displays okay so here uh, let's uh, go with uh, a mod because I want to have this uh, texture not outside mod monochrome and uh, if I go with average and mask the alpha set this to uh, mono I have a, a RGB value uh, average of, of those okay in a monochrome uh, texture and uh, right here I go with the uh, slope okay and this takes uh, vertical luminance uh, let's set uh, alpha one it's good blue neutral and uh, zero point uh, it's zero okay now we have values here inside but they are too small so let's uh, uh, normalize the the value and uh, yeah let's let's build the, the component uh, once again so collapse selected this is uh, normalize okay let's go inside here we need a, a constant not a constant a composite with uh, divide and uh, input one in transform tab and also a mat we go with length mask the alpha and uh, uh, monochrome and I connect this in the okay something went wrong so this is mono oh this is not mono the slope here is uh, rg okay no. let me yeah make this out one you see now we good with the uh, with the output this is the normalized uh, texture okay now the values here are um, in between one and minus one okay so for the if we go like this in um, in a displace we uh, lose everything okay let me check the displace this goes uh, red vertical source it's red and the midpoint uh, we good uh, here for extend we go uh, repeat okay now if we press uh, one to reset okay uh, yeah nothing happened because our um, our force here it's uh, way too big okay so let's have a mod And uh, yeah, I will uh, divide the the values. Uh, I multiply with one divided by the resolution. Okay, so I actually drag the resolution from this noise uh, resolution X. Okay, and uh, I drag it here, and I go one divided by. Okay, and now. I reset again and uh, yeah I I have something uh, moving okay now in order to to uh, better see the surface we need to, to no, you, we need a normal map uh, a good one okay and uh, let's let's go with a mat here and go with the uh, uh, land mask the alpha and the uh, monochrome and we have this uh, texture okay now I will drop here the normal map component and uh, you can find this on a touch designer uh, website I will uh, a link uh, I will put a link in a uh, description below and uh, you can use this on any black and white uh, texture and uh, you have uh, a best surface okay you can already see here ok 
okay uh, let me connect this uh, we have some nice surface now okay but uh, we go like 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 this we we go with the uh, uh, monochrome here because if you plan to color this okay we have a couple of options so uh, let's have this texture like uh, um, the output from the feedback okay now i will use a, a composite with multiply and let's see this result it's it's not bad uh, we have some some uh, um, surface some details there and um, the the problem this will go uh, to one color it's like um, uh, mixing and uh, yeah, after a while you you have no color here also the 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 surface can be much much better and for this we need a different um, source color okay so let's go with uh, a noise for example okay and i will drag the same resolution here okay and this is uh, 32 rgb not monochrome okay let's connect the the over in this one and uh, yeah we have some colors but if we go uh, we change a couple of parameters here hoping for some some colors okay so yeah it's uh, it is something uh, what we can also do grab the normal here and now we have some metallic uh, uh, colors and uh, you might find this uh, uh, better but uh, what i like to do is uh, judge the colors here like we have the directions so let's have a select and we select uh, from the folder vectors we select out one okay now we got this here and again we have values in between one and zero one let's connect this see what's happened you see we have some strange colors and uh, you can you can uh, uh, correct this with the uh, math i don't know if, if uh, correct is the correct uh, word for this as uh, you might like how you get colors out of uh, uh, this okay now let's rearrange this from minus one to one okay and uh, yeah this is a, a way for for doing uh, colors uh, but uh, still the the muddy waves uh, are completely uh, are missing so let's go inside the vectors and instead of going uh, average with rgb and then judge a slope on those that uh, value uh, what if we we split the rgb so let's go with uh, reorder so i will color this uh, red and i take red this is uh, monochrome okay again uh, i copy this this is uh, green i take the green and uh, also blue okay let's have this blue and we do we don't need this constant we do the same so we need slope and uh, normalize value okay
once again. Okay. Now, let's connect those three into a composite and go with uh, average and see what's happened. Okay, now, okay, now, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is what I mean by having uh, details, okay, and uh, you can, you can use here uh, add, for example, and in this moment, some, some pixels go crazy, and, uh, This, uh, this is something uh, not uh, not uh, uh, many of uh, um, people uh, really uh, understood uh, well. So uh, let's say we are tempted to use blur here as uh, if we blur and. Uh, yeah, let's uh, be a little bit uh, uh, clever and uh, blur the, the forces instead of the texture and, uh, you know, and yeah, you got rid of the, the crazy pixels, but uh, you actually lose details by a, a lot. And um, instead of using blur and uh, yeah you, you you can go you can go with blur if if you want or if you like but uh, uh, definitely uh, those are uh, uh, way too big values okay uh, not uh, i'm not talking uh, about this uh, little fellow which uh, ruin the uh, the the detail and uh, yeah you can you you get uh, something like like this but um, Let's not use blur at all. Okay, what can we do when when we have such a situation? Um, le le let's go back. What 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 we have here? Here we have uh, uh, an average, an add actually, right? Because uh, with with the average, everything is nice. When we add this, we add three values which are in between minus one and one. And so, uh, yeah, this, this uh, force, it's, it's too big. What if instead we divide by three? When you divide by three, uh, you get rid of the, the crazy pixels and uh, keep all the details, okay? Now, uh, yeah, let, let's go and uh, set the, the, the color so um, here I also prefer not to to necessary to to use uh, 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 re range here. If you uh, take it off like this, uh, yeah, you you will need to to double the period to get uh, somehow closer to to the the colors you had. But this would give you a much uh, better uh, contrast and uh, between the colors and uh, yeah, so you ca you can uh, uh, slide the, the the seed and uh, find what what you uh, what what you like. You can increase the period and still got some some nice uh, 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 colors or crazy colors or how. How you like it okay now let's see what we can uh, we can do okay so yeah i will, I will uh, leave this uh, here now let's go inside and if what if i i i want to use also this um general uh, uh, slope okay and uh, if i connect this you can see uh, yeah the, the color is changing and uh, everything start to to um, 
fall uh, down the, the, the slope uh, much, uh, much quicker, okay? And uh, again, if you, if you have a crazy like, like here, you see? Like here uh, in, a, in a side, if you have uh, crazy pixels, uh, yeah, we have an addition of uh, four um, uh, normalized ve vectors and uh, we can divide uh, with four here or if you want to be uh, sure, you divide by uh, one more and uh, yeah, you, you never get uh, uh, crazy pixels now. And uh, what if we use uh, uh, a noise also? So let's have a noise. And uh, yeah, let's connect this uh, like this. See what's happened. And we go with with the values. Now, because because uh, here we noise something that is normalized, okay, it's one, but right after we, we divide with uh, uh, quite a, a big amount, the changings you make here are not necessary, obviously, from uh, the start. So you still have some, some room to play, okay? Uh, what, what I like or, or uh, uh, going live with with this uh, it's an advantage you you have so uh, you will do uh, less mistakes uh, okay now you can also try to to map the noise according with uh, either the vectors like this and uh, uh, yeah you have some some uh, sandy uh, looking uh, uh, and that means you, you need to uh, reset the, the noise values. What I like to have is uh, noise mapped on the, uh, this 3D texture, okay? So yeah, it goes um, uh, much better and uh, I can also uh, drive the parameters here, uh, yeah, more wild and uh, uh, nothing uh, broke and uh, yeah let's go uh, can go even crazier with these colors so yeah and uh, yeah you can you can uh, make some uh, different uh, arithmetic with, with those forces you can uh, subtract one if you want or judge, uh, uh, I don't know, not uh, not average here. What if, what if we uh, we add those? Okay, so now now the the, the slopes are, are getting uh, um, bigger. Let's let's say okay, and uh, one thing uh, you you can you can do. You see this texture here. If you want it uh, more contrast you can use a, a level and go with uh, with that but uh, yeah let, let's have this uh, much nicer and uh, with no level right after the this mat I can go with uh, limit and uh, normalize and uh, yeah you you can you can see the the colors gets more uh, shiny and uh, also uh, this one it's uh, it's better okay now um, yeah let's uh, let's see well, what else you can you can do now about the speed of uh, this okay uh, there are a couple of places where you can change uh, this one is uh, here it uh, in the uh, mat top but uh, yeah if you try to uh, increase this value you will easily get to crazy pixels okay so from here you you can you can uh, uh, make it um, slower and now it's like it's like you you can uh, see 
the the noise uh, beneath the the feedback okay and this is because here in opacity we only take uh, 0 0.99 of the the uh, all the mixture here and uh, uh, laid uh, over the the uh, input texture okay what if we take uh, a bigger chunk of the the mixture okay so if we type the third nine you see the the initial noise uh, topology and you barely uh, see it okay now yeah this this goes uh, uh, slower and uh, you can you can make it uh, i don't know way slower and you maybe maybe you will feel like you lose the the details okay but uh, you can always uh, have more details with with this with this noise like like here you see and uh, yeah if if it gets if it goes slower there is the slower um, process to form the details the the crests uh, in between the the waves okay so this is how you 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 correct uh, and uh, yeah what else uh, i don't know you can uh, you can play with this uh, uh, how, how you how you like and uh, yeah about the the feedback was uh, you you can use it if you like if you if you think uh, those details are are uh, too dense uh, you can use a, a feedback and a, a blur but uh, yeah if, if it's it's quite enough if you go uh, filter size just two okay because uh, other way uh, yeah it's a uh, yeah, it might be more creamy. Maybe you, you like it uh, like this, or obviously you you can build some details above uh, this surface. And uh, yeah, this was my uh, tutorial. I really hope you like this. Thank you so much for for watching. And uh, this file, um, as uh, it is uh, here, will be available for my patrons and uh, you can support me uh, going on with this uh, research I'll have a, a, a bunch of uh, tutorials and uh, yeah thank you so much for your support and uh, thanks to all my patrons